enemy tank, or suicide scouting on the Hill of Mines. We at the WGL would like to recognize the achievements of the best performing players throughout the regular season. Using the best think tanks in esports, aka Gray Torp and Junior, we have compiled a comprehensive statistics database so complex and secretive that not even Danny Ocean himself could crack it. Winners will receive hundreds of thousands of gold from Wargaming, and these are the prize distributions. Trailblazer, 25,000. Sniper, 50,000. Confederate, 75,000. Scout, 100,000. Invader, 100,000. Top Gun, 150,000. And the most important, MVP, $5,000 in cash, which here in Vegas is going to be a pretty nice chunk of change. After each winner is announced, please join me in a round of applause or standing ovation, whichever one you prefer. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to bring Clutch to the stage as he presents Trailblazer Award for the most mileage. And I'm not just talking about women. Thank you, Lauren. In the world of cars, they care about miles per gallon. In the world of tanks, we care about gallons per mile. The Trailblazer Award is given out to the player that has traveled the most miles in season one of WGLNA. Now, some say the journey is better than the destination, and that can be true, except for bus rides or plane rides or car rides or any type of ride that deals with a crying baby. Uh, some people here would actually prefer to be shot with heat rounds on the open plains of Prokhorovka than to have to deal with security lines. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees for the Trailblazer are Friction from Fulcrum Gaming. 30 seconds still uh, on the clock. The focus looks like it has shifted to Valkyrie Vale as I see shots hitting around him, and Friction is going all out on Valkyrie. They're just going for those eight points. 20 seconds left in the match. Oh. Valkyrie is oh. probably going to go down here. Oh, 80 more points shot. left. He's going to try to duck yeah. the round corner, and he does go down. Kufo from the Cazadores. But it looks like Thief is reloading and oh, Kufo's going to come screaming in. Yes, and he's going to be able to get the shot on Friction before Friction gets out any more shots. Nicely done. Nextron now coming up against the number one support scout in the WGLNA. Valkyrie view us from Refuse to Die. I think Cardinal Angus shoot, thinks he's shooting for the right team as we have a nice sandwich action. Bear Hugger is the last member alive. Is Bonzoin, and it won't be enough as Refuse to Die will take this first battle. And the winner is Kufo from the Cazadores. Congratulations, Kufo, or as they say in Spanish. Felicidades. Lauren? Thank you, Clutch. Next, presenting the award for Sniper, highest accuracy, I would like to bring to the stage Andre Hengshua Graytorp. Thank you, Lauren. You know, hitting your enemy is, is tough. It takes a lot of skill, but that's only half of the battle. When it comes down to it, to be a truly masterful player, you need to know yourself, know your enemy, and take the shot that counts. Now, to be a, a sniper, to win the sniper award, you need to not only know yourself, or excuse me, wait, did I already say that? I'm blanking, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, you take the shot, and you penetrate the most amount of times. That's what sniper award is. Uh, it, <laughs> I forgot my lines, guys. I forgot my lines. Uh, but anyway, the nominees. Adroxis from oh, no Team one's Sim. Also exposing back, but Endo has rotate around to the G2 key. Oh, flow. These aren't the rolls you're looking for. Unknown one exposing his back. Endo's gonna try to go for the flank, but it won't matter. Adroxis finish off what he started. Blue Boys captain, Team Sim. Oh, whiskey is so low, but. Blue Boy's captain does whiff on one of his shots, 1390, and does he have another shot left? He does, and it is gonna take down Whiskey Dive. 
unknown one wreak havoc. Perfectly for strike may have been rescued by Kazo stalling as three seconds, two seconds, one second on the clock. Wreak havoc will capture strike's base. And the winner is, ladies and gentlemen, Adroxis from Team Sim. Congratulations. Andre, even when you trip over your lines, you are still smooth as butter. It takes a good eye to win that award, but it takes a lot more kills to win this next one. Presenting the Confederate Award, Kevin Rotterdam. Thank you very much, Lauren, thank you. Now, of course, guys, all these awards are cute, and we congratulate all of the winners, but let's be honest, there is no better feeling in World of Tanks than driving in, seeing that low HP tank, knowing that your teammate worked very hard for it, but you getting that final shot done. That is, of course, the best feeling, because it also makes you feel like you are undisputedly the best player in the league whenever you're just always on time, always there to finish the job. This, this award goes out to the man who's always there to back up his teammates, but will wait until they unleash all their shells and they can get the final shot. The man who represents the I in, in the A in the letter, well, that makes no sense. The man who represents the, uh, the hidden eye in the letter free A kill of the here word team. As Rylan gets cleaned up by Nagatron in the backfield, is. and then Squirrel oh, no, Tag gets killed up by F0X. All right, guys, let's take a look at our nominees. <laughs> as our first nominee is, uh, I'm not sure showing it already, but would be Absolute Royal from Fulcrum Gaming. Uh, Disengage from that fight, there we go. and as soon as he does, in comes Squirrelin. Gonna ram him. Oh! All right, the second <laughs> is the Doma from no, Scurryard. Oh. No, he didn't. The Doma got it. No, there is no justice mm -hmm. in this world. How many kills does Vladdy have? Just one. Because he was doing all the work. And our last nominee is Heavy oh, 20 that from was two T69s. Sim. They just split it. You can't move the KV-5 to cover both T1s like that, so it's just not possible. And there weren't, weren't any real track shots going out. If track shots had gone out right there, slowed those T69s down, that might have been enough. But just simp was easy. Awesome. And the winner of the Confederate Award is Absolute Royal from Fulcrum Gaming. Thank you, Kevin. The next award is for Scout. Presenting that award for most spotting damage is going to be Randall. <laughs> Thank you so much, Flo. All right, I'm gonna keep this simple for people like relics. Uh, so a scout spots the bad men. A good scout spots many bad men. The best scout spots the bad men in the right place at the right time. These tankers showed a surprising level of skill and deserve to be recognized for their accomplishments and their performance. So here's our best uh, finalists for Top Scout, N.A. We have Captain Blood. Oh, it has to be Captain Blood. We'll have to fall down the hill, but it immediately could be swarmed by Absolute Royal and Hugo Maximus. A very costly error. Captain Blood really likes rushing the hill. Next is Kufo. The yeah, fight is going to uh -oh. go to Casadores, uh -oh. I think, at this point. And Kufo behind uh, uh, these tanks. Captain Blood, only one left alive here. That are tier eight. He goes down. Arg, the only one left. And finally, Son of Hail. If only we had Napalm. Blow up all the buildings. Son of Hail in that great bush position at this time. It's really hard. They can just play the spoiler, saying, you know what? We can take out a good team and just throw them into a lot more games. See. More set up. This is just to draw the enemies out, and they're looking Quasi for. Quasari spotted, oh. and he goes down. Wow. Well, that stops the cap. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Kufo from Cazadores. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, Randall. We all know that practice makes perfect, and hard work pays off. This next award is for the most captured points, the Invader Award. May I bring to the stage the one and only Mr. Bitter. Thank you, Lauren. World of Tanks is a game about many things. Blowing up enemy tanks, uh, working cohesively as a team, tactical stealth play, and ferocious in-your-face firefights. A good player lends his firepower to his teammates, focuses down enemy takers, and ultimately incapacitates the enemy team.
A great player, however, wins in those situations where the above is not possible. When the chips are down and your team is tapping out and maybe you just have two tier ones left, there's only one way to claim victory, and that is by capturing objectives. A few players have stood out as being phenomenal objective tankers. The finalists for this season's Invader Award are A. Martin from the Cunninghams. Here's the big difference. T69's on that top with the WZ-132. They're already lining up shots, anticipating this tactic. Beautifully done going over to the train tracks. As soon as they can start clipping, they're going to cross it so they're not exposed. Here, the Cunninghams caps out Ermagerd Kernerford and shuts down their aggressive strategy on the Wow, that is the first time they've, uh, they've had that shut down. Indy from Team Nerve. It seems that the birds see on the screen have more movement than the tanks in this game <laughs> as it just seems like nerve has completely shut down any avenue of attack exactly oh but here we go we do actually see nerve is moving ah. out watch out though independent you got to watch your driving there a plot twist and they could be motioning for a big counterattack down the middle after spending this entire time convincing Simplistic to hold the Western they side. But they can stop the cap if they get some track shots. They did not. Three seconds on the clock. Simplistic oh. has to do something about it, but they are not able to. Game number one goes to Nerve. And the Mac attack himself, Mac G yeah, from really Sid like how they did it so far. This KB5 is going to cover that T1 forever. That T1 is just not going to take damage. Mac G is going back to try and counter cap. And uh, now the onus is on Simp Main to stop Simplistic. Wow. Oh, yes, that's very good job here, Heavy Unreal. 20. I yeah. can't believe Un they managed to save unbelievable. that. Unbelievable. 91%. Maybe it was farther along than that uh, when that first reset hit, and Simp somehow, some way gets those shot clutch off. shots. And the winner for this season's Invader Award is Mac G from Simp Main. Mac, how the hell do you get all those capture points when you're dead, brother? Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Bitter. Our next award goes to He Who Deals the Most Damage, the Top Gun Award presented by Frodan. Thank you, Lauren. Now, when it comes to any shooter game in esports, it's extremely difficult to weigh how much impact one individual has on a single battle in World of Tanks. However, there is one hard-hitting statistic that is unanimously agreed upon to measure how big your carry boots are. Damage. Because after all, when it comes to World of Tanks, it's not the size of the gun you have, but how much penetration you can get with it. Here are our finalists for Top Gun in WGL Season 1. Absolute Royal from Volcom Gaming. Absolute going right, so Bonzoit has to turn his turret. He does fire. Oh, but there's a nice shot out of Absolute. He does snake it through the buildings. Bonzoit looks like he's going to try and get the kill on Hugo. He's reverse angling back, but oh, Absolute. Good nice. shot from Absolute to finish off. Adroxis from Team Sim. Shots fired on Psycho Killer does not land. That one does from Adroxis. One more hit, two more hits. Now one more hit, 102, and he goes down. Adroxus cleans up the last tier eight. A large still hasn't taken any damage, but he's got a position. Oh my goodness, he's dancing! But uh, it's not gonna matter, man, as Simp has answered the call too well. Adroxus is gonna come in and jam up Art of War. He's gonna go down. And Hugo Maximus from Volcom Gaming. That's right, Cub Whisper just has one more shot, and he's gonna go down. Ooh, big miss by Hugo. He's going to clean him up. Right, brings it back. Fulcrum only needs seven seconds to cap it out. S what? But five, six, five. Hugo is going to try and stop him here. Oh, Very good great track shot. shot. Tracks screenly, and that's going to buy the time that Fulcrum needs. And the winner is Absolute Royal from Fulcrum Gaming. The time has come to give away $5,000 in cash for the most valuable player, the MVP award presented by Caleb. Thank you, Lauren.
Thank you, Barbie. So throughout the season, every player has performed admirably. But the MVP award is for the player who stands out among the rest. And as, as Lauren just mentioned, this player will receive $5,000 in cash right here. The nominees for the Most Valuable Player Award are as follows. Absolute Royal from Fulcrum Gaming. But Junior just ran up on him, and now I'm, I'm not sure because Junior here could go down himself. Do you know what that means? Yeah, Keystone here to the success of Fulcrum. Meanwhile, Absolute Royal gonna try to charge Canaduck, who has the more shots, who's more accurate, who's better at the close range brawl, and it ends up going. Fast cap strategy on Ruinberg. Very common to do this from the south side. Blazzy from Scurry Hard. The first spot, Steve wants to go down. Blazzy, nice shot on the move. I barely even uh, needed to break a sweat to get that kill. Bla Blazzy getting a second T1 kill. Oh. And now, Commandum trying to get that one more hit. He is clipping, he is reloading. Oh, more shots fired. One more hit for the T69 and the AMX 5100. Blazzy. I were River of Blood. This is they're putting themselves in crossfire. Again, Blazzy just refusing to miss. Huge damage out of Blazzy, and he picks off two more tanks, I believe, just to absolutely dissecting River of Blood. Excellent positioning by Blazzy. Kufo from Cazadores. He's moving just in time to get in front of the T1. Great movement by Doc Golem. He does take the shot. What the? Wow, Commandum gets Arg though from way oh across the way in a sniping goodness. shot. Oh, come on. And uh, Kufo, take the shot. We need Jukes. Ooh, nice shot. Jukes Absolute out of Absolute. Royal. Two more hits, he could get it. Oh, no. Kufo. Kufo. Very patient, waits for that and shot. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Casadores will take first. Mac G from Team Sim. I hope they take it. Oh, Mac going down, Mac attack style again. Dying Living first. up to his reputation. I know. Mac. Mac G is spotted. Okay, so Sim will take it 3 0, guys. No, just kidding. No. Start the timer. Mac's not dead yet. No, Mac is on the run in between the houses, though. Urban Warfare. Oh, and he gets taken down. Huge mistake there by Marsh. He should not <laughs> have killed Mac. The rest of your team. Oh, Mac goes down. Not looking good for Cunningham's. This guy. Leave him alone. Leave Mac G alone. And oh, no. And Nagatron from Fulcrum Gaming. T1 Cunningham as Al Jazim Alabim is going to go down. Again, 16 points now. Shaney tries to get that angle. Shots fired. Nagatron is hit. Gets to the side. Absolute Royal and him are able to get the target fire. And down goes Shaney as well. I think the, the big question we have to ask is how serious are you taking this match? Scurry hard is like a single grain of sand in the Sahara Desert that is Fulcrum <laughs> Madness. Tower of power, too sweet to be sour. Too hot to handle, <laughs> too cold to hold. Now every, every player that attended today has voted for this award. So I am proud to award this to the player most likely to be team killed, Mac G. <laughs> Congratulations, Mac. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I almost wish I didn't wish I didn't win this. Uh, I'm gonna have 99 people asking me on uh, on Monday to you know buy him some gold. <laughs> uh, but you know I I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm speechless. Uh, I mean as as commander of the team, as commander of the clan, you know. I, I do my best to be without ego. Uh, I do my best to not let, you know, whatever success the game may have, you know, get to my head. I try to stay grounded. Um, and I have nothing to say, but I'm gonna talk for five minutes. Uh, but, I mean, it, it means a lot to me, uh, you know, getting the recognition. I, I didn't expect it, but it's, it means a lot. Well, thank you, Mac. You definitely deserve it. It's a pleasure to be able to hand this to you. Enjoy. Back to you, Lauren. You're welcome.
congratulations again to all of the winners. Thank you to Wargaming for providing all of the gold. It has been a wonderfully fun day of gambling and gaming here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're not over yet. We are not over yet. It's not over yet. We're going to have an all-star match for the first time ever with the WGL staff where they play against the star players of the WGL. Can they beat them? Probably not. But we're going to find out after this short commercial break.